Libra. Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Libra placement. If you're new to my channel, I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. Okay. The first message we have is I need time to process everything. Okay. So I'm getting at this is something that your person may have actually shared with you. They may have actually told you that they needed time to process their emotions. Maybe they had a lot on their minds, a lot on their hearts here. So I'm getting that your person definitely pulled away from the connection. They may have initiated this separation, this no contact, or I'm getting things may have just naturally fizzled out over time here, okay? I'm also getting that you may have been at a very critical point within your relationship, okay, where things were either going to, you know, um, move into a higher commitment or I'm just getting really, really stuck energy, okay? So you definitely may have been at this place where um, this break or this, you know, this time away may have been a deciding factor, okay, within your connection here. But I'm definitely getting that your person may have been under a little pressure as it pertains to um, the trajectory of your connection here. And they definitely made a hasty decision. They made a hasty decision here. And I'm getting that this separation, this break, these delays have went on a lot longer than they anticipated, okay? Initially, this was your person being in this transitional um, point in their lives, um, needing some time to really pull back, gather their emotions, gather their thoughts, and then come back to the connection. I'm getting that this has lingered for way longer than you both anticipated. Divine Feminine, I'm getting that um, when your person came to you with this, um, or when this energy began to enter your connection, you were a little bit patient with it, okay? Um, maybe a little apprehensive, but definitely patient, definitely willing to give your person a little space, a little time for them to kind of sort out their emotions. Um, but I'm definitely getting that ever since this happened, um, there's been kind of like a difference within the dynamic in, in, in your connection here. You're feeling as if ever since this break happened, these delays happened, the communication started to get a little funny. Um, there's been a different type of energy lingering over your connection here. It definitely does not feel the same, okay? Um, and you were hoping that things would go back to normal um, with your masculine here, but I'm definitely getting that something just feels a little bit off, okay? Or something felt a little bit off after a while. Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, you're driving me crazy. Wow. So I'm definitely getting that this is current energy. If you were thinking or you were wondering what your person is currently feeling, um, they're feeling frustrated. And Divine Feminine, you are the source of that frustration. And your person feels that way because initially they thought that this break was going to give them, you know, space and time from the connection. Maybe they would have the opportunity to clear their energy a little bit, maybe be a little distracted um, from the things that were going on here so that they can totally clear their energy and then come back into this, okay? But what I'm getting is that from the moment you stopped speaking to them, from the moment the separation happened, you had been pulling on your person's energy from that day. It never stopped, okay? It never stopped. Your person has never stopped thinking about you, okay? And maybe your person is at this place where they can't really focus. Their emotions may be all over the place here. But I'm getting that this is definitely not how your person planned this time away from you would be, this separation would be. They really thought that they were gonna have this opportunity to kind of clear their energy and then come back to this, but they've literally been consumed with thoughts of you from the day that this happened. So if you're wondering how they're feeling about you right now, they're feeling crazy. Um, their emotions are all over the place. They are absolutely consumed with your energy right now. I definitely feel like they're in this place where 
it's kind of mind blowing to them because although your presence may not be physically in their lives, they still feel connected with you. You still, your energy is literally still lingering in their lives, in their minds, in their heart space. There's never been a disconnection, okay? Divine Feminine, you may feel this energy as well. So I'm definitely getting, there could be some type of energetic exchange. There could be some type of telepathic messaging that's going on between you and your person. You may very well pick up on your person's frustration um, if you have a really, really deep energetic bond with your person. But yeah, I'm definitely getting that. They're feeling very frustrated at this moment and you are the source of that frustration, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. Yeah, we have my feelings for you scare me. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that this this is probably um the first time that your person has experienced this level of intensity, this level of intense emotions, and your person is a little bit afraid, okay? They're trying to figure out why you still have this pull on them, why they still can feel your energy lingering in their lives here, okay? I'm definitely getting that your person has a way of concealing these emotions, but their internal process is kind of all over the place. Okay, I'm definitely getting that they may be, you know, engaging in different things to kind of distract them from this emotions, um, from these emotions that they're feeling at this current time because your person is a little bit fearful. Okay, I'm getting that. Um, yeah, I just keep getting that ever since disconnecting with you, your person thought that this process would be a lot different than what it actually is at this time here. Okay, and the fact that they're still feeling these emotions and the range of emotions that they are feeling at this time is kind of driving them a little bit crazy, maybe scaring them a little bit, okay? Because they've never felt this level of intensity. For some of you, these masculines um, have actually awakened to how much they feel about you in your absence, okay? Sometimes it takes for a person to be away from you to actually come into the awareness of just how much um, value you have in their lives or how much value you hold in their lives here. And I feel like some of these masculines are definitely at that stage currently, okay? And it's a little bit scary for them because they anticipated um, that this break, this separation, whatever this was, they were going to have the opportunity to clear this energy out, maybe focus on different things, okay? Because I'm definitely getting that your connection is very, very intense. You were at a very pivotal point. You were at a critical point in your relationship. And maybe your person just wanted to step away. They wanted to unwind, okay? And they haven't been able to do that, okay? There's never been a disconnect, ever, okay? Your person is having a bit of a hard time processing that right now. Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have who has your attention now. Wow. Okay. So yeah, your person may definitely be feeling a little jealous. I'm just getting this energy of them feeling a little bit of everything, of you kind of pulling on them emotionally, like, you know, pulling them this way, pulling them that way. One day they're frustrated, one day they're mad, one day they're sad. Okay, currently they may be a little jealous. They're wondering who has your attention. What is it that you're focusing on now? Because like I said, I definitely get that this separation, this no contact, these delays that you are experienced has kind of lingered on longer than you both had anticipated in the beginning, okay? What started out as something small has definitely expanded. And since your energy is away from your person, um, where you are physically away from your person, they definitely may be, you know, going in their minds thinking about who you're talking to, who you're spending your time with, um, who has your attention. They're definitely asking themselves or going through this mental process trying to figure out how you are allocating your time, who you are spending your time with because you're not with them, okay? So yeah, you're definitely pulling on your person's energy 
a lot right now, okay? You may have pulled back your energy as well. I definitely feel like initially you were at this place where you were a little unsettled, okay? Um, you may have been very anxious. You may have been kind of waiting around for your person. And as time lingered, um, you definitely started to pour your energy into other facets of your life here. And your person can kind of feel you not being so close to them, you know, not really waiting around on them. Um, you definitely, there's definitely been a heavy, heavy dynamic shift within your connection, okay? And it has your person questioning, not only what are you doing, but who are you doing it with? Who has your attention right now, okay? Yeah, they're feeling a little territorial. Let's get the next message here. Yeah, your person really, I'm just getting this energy of them like wanting to connect with you, wanting to come back in contact with you here, wanting to kind of close this gap, not wanting to be away from you or experiencing these delays here. Okay, it's almost as if your person made a very hasty decision, a very impulsive decision to initiate some type of break, some type of no contact, or they definitely played a huge part in your connection kind of fizzling out over time. And now they're kind of rethinking this whole thing. That's what their mental and emotional process is currently. They're rethinking this. They're saying, okay, well, you know, maybe I should have gave this a little bit more thought. Maybe I should have communicated this with the divine feminine here um, because you're literally pulling on your person's energy right now, okay? And these emotions that they're feeling is, is scaring them because they've never felt this before for anyone, okay? Maybe your person in the past were able to make really, really clean breaks. They were able to, you know, navigate connections a lot smoother. They were able to move on, you know, not really having this energy linger, but your energy is definitely lingering, okay? And it's kind of slowly pulling your person back. It's like your person is being pulled back into your energy, okay? Pull it back into your direction here. And now they're beginning to question things. Who are you spending time with? Who has your attention, okay? Um, are you dating anyone? Are you seeing anyone? You know, do we still have any hope within this connection? There's a lot of questions that they're asking themselves, okay, currently. So let's get the next one here. Yeah, I think this, this is harder for them than they anticipated. And I'm getting divine feminine. You may be definitely feeling as if your person is not affected by this because of what they're showing externally. If you have access to them in some kind of way, maybe on social media, maybe you have mutual friends here, they're definitely affected, okay? But they may have a way of not showing this, okay? And they're very intentional about not showing it as well here, okay? So let's get the next message. Wow. We have, why can't I get over you? Yeah. That's exactly what your person is going through. So what I'm getting right now is that your person is definitely going through this process where they're asking themselves so many questions about you. This may be questions that they wanna ask you as well here. Okay, I'm definitely getting that they have repressed a lot of emotions and these emotions are really, really boiling up to the surface and kind of spilling over to the point where it's kind of scaring your person a little bit because you are the source, okay, of this outpour. But they're definitely asking themselves, I feel like this is the main thing that's kind of pulling on their heart space right now is why can't I get over this divine feminine? why can't I get over this divine feminine? And it's making them feel crazy because I'm definitely getting that they may have initiated this break. They made a very impulsive decision and now they're questioning their own judgment. I'm also getting that there may be a huge difference, you know, between your person's life, just the energy surrounding them when you are with them and when you are not with them because you're definitely pulling on your person at this time here and they're having a hard time navigating. Maybe a, hard, a harder time than you think, okay? Yeah, it's extremely hard for them to be away from you. 
they're thinking about if you've moved on they definitely can feel you slipping away a little bit here and i think this is just because you're at this place divine feminine where you were really really um maybe holding on to their every word in the beginning you know maybe waiting for them maybe holding space for them and because this energy or because this um this break has kind of lingered way longer than you anticipated you're at this place where you're like okay i'm just going to go focus on what i need to focus on and if it comes back around amazing okay and if it doesn't then i guess it's just not for me but your person internally is going crazy because they initiated this and so they know that they will have to be the one to initiate um this coming together let's get the last message here Oh, wow. We have, will you ever forgive me? Yeah, you know what? It's like your person is asking, they want to ask you these questions, okay? I'm definitely getting that they're not only questioning themselves at this time, but they also have some questions for you, Divine Feminine. They want to know if you would ever forgive them for this decision that they made here because I'm definitely getting that this has really, really changed the dynamic of your connection. Maybe you don't feel as close to your person. Maybe you don't trust them as much here. But your person is noticing that they played a huge part in where you are currently. And I definitely feel like they're looking at themselves and realizing that they really attributed to the delays in your connection here. And because you're at this place where you're experiencing delays, um, instead of building okay and instead of your connection ascending you know your person definitely feels like they're the reason why you're kind of taking steps backwards instead of forwards so yeah your person is coming through very apologetic okay very emotional a little frustrated okay just because of where you are currently within this connection their emotional process right now they feel your energy pulling away a little bit here they're feeling a little jealous. They're feeling a little bit of everything, honestly. So I definitely feel like your person is at this place where they're feeling really, really impulsive, just as impulsive as they felt to initiate this no separation, this no contact. They're feeling that impulsive energy and wanting to come towards you because there are so many questions that they're asking themselves here. There's so many questions that they want to ask you as well. I'm getting that they're also concerned about how you view them at this stage of your connection here. If there will ever be an opportunity for full forgiveness and for you to kind of start over and for, you know, the connection to be infused with new energy here. Because I'm definitely getting this stale kind of stuck energy that your person has definitely contributed to. Definitely getting that they're, they're looking at their actions and they're realizing that they initiated this. They made a very, very hasty decision and now they have to kind of sit in it. And, you know, sitting in it and having these emotions being reflected back to them is, is harder than they anticipated, okay? So I'm definitely getting that, you know, this is your person's mental and emotional process right now. If you were wondering what it is they're thinking about, they're a little bit of frustrated, they're a little bit frustrated right now. You are the source of that frustration because you're pulling on your person's heartstrings at this time. Okay, making them feel a lot of emotions. Even in your absence, you still have the ability to hold up that mirror and make your person address, you know, these facets of themselves. So yeah, they definitely want your forgiveness. So I feel like they will be approaching you soon for forgiveness of some sort, okay? For some of you divine feminists, you've already forgiven your person. You're not holding on, you know, to any grudges or anything like that. But this is for them. They need to get through this emotional clearing so that you can move to the next stage in your connection if you both agree to do that, okay? So these are the messages that I have for you all today. If you resonated with this, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.